New developments in the investigation of this massive fire in Glendale. The ATF's national response team now part of this investigation. The 7 News video showing the fire as it gutted these condos under construction on South Cherry Saturday night. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is there live now. And Lindsay, they are stopping short of calling this arson. And Mike, for the first time since this fire broke out late Saturday night, the road here at Cherry is literally just now opening up so cars can actually travel here. And now, while the ATF is not calling this an arson for now, they are bringing in a special group of investigators who specifically help local investigators whenever there is a large arson or explosion involved. Now, in daylight, you can see the pile of rubble. The fire caused $12 million in damage. Earlier today, we saw the ATF and Denver Fire Department out here surveying the property. The team they're now bringing out is made up of 13 to 18 people and has experts who specialize in cause and origin and forensic chemists. Here's video of the fire when it first broke out around 1140 Saturday night. This is near South Dexter in Kentucky. Around 100 people in apartments near here were evacuated because of the heat. The next day, 7 News went inside one of those apartments and you could see blinds melted from the heat. Then today, we ran into Richard Kelt, who wanted to see the destruction for himself. He showed us debris that fell on his house from a half mile away from where the fire started. This is what I came home to all over my roof of my house. It looks you know, bigger than burnt popcorn all over the place. and <laughs> Just a lot of curiosity to what really happened. And I am told as far as what really happened that the investigation could take up to the entire week. Reporting live in Glendale, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.